Hello. Uh, so as I presented before, I have already presented the, the CPL ready board, uh, where the circuit configuration file, implementation file can be uploaded through the FDDI interface. And uh, actually, this is very nice. But uh, one disadvantage that requires an uh, external program, uh, uploading programmer, SVF uh, uploading programmers. Um, within the uh, Xilinx uh, program, uh, we cannot upload to this board. So this time, I made a bit more advanced one. Uh, this is a new one, uh, which consisting of a uh, lattice, lattice semiconductors. Uh, actually, this is a CPLD. Just a 256 macro cell. It's not so big, but uh, it's uh, surely the CP, uh, not CPLD, it's FPGA. And also, I embedded the uploading circuit, as same as previous one. And the good point is that this circuit is supported by the lattice uh, developing environment. Uh, this is called the uh, lattice diamond, and we can directly upload it, the final uh, files to the C FPGA. Now let's see how it works. I have already made the very simple. It's very simple as you can see. Just the input is bottom, output is. 7 LED, these 7 LED, and uh, at the same as this board, uh, I take the bus connection, this LED and the two uh, segment LEDs, and uh, this can be uh, activated by changing the CS, and if button is 0 in the 0, uh, in in this case, the LED bus uh, will be the old one, else everything is zero. And this is the source file, and uh, now I'm back to Milan. You no know error. And uh, also making the JDEC file. Yeah, no error. And let's try to light. I already recognize Mac X02 LCMX2256 SD uh, like that. And uh, let's program. Now programming. Uh, starting now. Verify. Yeah, operation successful, and we can see the pass status. And uh, let's push. Yeah, it's working. All of the LED segment is uh, blinking as a response to the bottom. And uh, actually, the configuration is a bit more complex uh, because uh, it has a binary uploader. And as uh, same as previous one, I put the very low frequency oscillator. This is very useful for the very initial, very um, um, very fundamental implementation uh, just for beginner like me. And just for test, uh, it has several frequency output. In the previous one, I just uh, take the tap from 4040 uh, 12 bit uh, binary counters just uh, 8 hertz but in this case I take several tap 8 hertz 32 128 1512 and uh, 2 kilohertz this clock are uh, injected to the FPGA and we can choose as we wish yeah and uh, actually uh, this FPGA is very capable it has a uh, built-in I squared C uh, modules and also SPI module, so um, we can make the I2C device by using this function. So 
I put the pin out for S clock S data and the CS S clock uh, miso um, moshi and uh, so on, on like this. So it has a bit more possibility compared to the previous uh, version, but it's very complex. Uh, of course, it's not as complex as a commercial one, but uh, a bit more complex to compare to this uh, previous one. Have fun.